Hey guys, it's Sapir and welcome to Python tutorial number 6. In this tutorial we're going to learn a few things. Uh, probably the biggest thing uh, is going to be how to separate your Python program into a separate file, not having to run everything from the idle all the time. So what I want you to do is go File and then New Window. New Window. Not New Window. But anyway, yeah, New Window and in here you can type all your scripts so if I type something like um, let's make a simple calculator really quickly uh, num1 equals uh, not prompt sorry raw underscore input please enter num1 okay I'm only gonna make it to addition just seeming as it's really quick uh, and you can see when I press enter it doesn't run anything because we're typing out the code and then we can we run it once it's saved. Whoops, I saved it back. I'm used to saving a lot. Uh, so and then we can just print out, or we, we'll make a variable for the answer. We can say answer equals num1 plus num2. Okay. And then we'll print the answer. Uh, but before that, we'll say the answer is. And in this case, uh, we can't use pluses because the answer is going to be a number remember um, and actually I'm just gonna make this run input because if the when the user damn I did it again uh, if the user inputs a number raw input might accidentally um, make it into a string so the number will have quotes around it and then adding it would be uh, it wouldn't add the numbers it would just stick them one by the one beside the other uh, and I don't want to get onto how to convert stuff just yet, so I'm going to make it input. So when the user enter enters a number, uh, it won't be put between quotes, and it will be interpreted as an integer, as it should be. Okay. And uh, for that reason, I can't use the plus sign uh, to concatenate stuff because that will be putting a string and an integer together. So I have to use the comma, but that that's okay. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and whoops, uh, one last thing, raw input and press enter to finish just so that holds the program giving the user enough time to see the actual answer okay uh, because if you don't run this from the command line if you double click it uh, it will execute and it will be so quick once you've entered the two numbers you won't be able to see anything and it will just shut down so we'll have that in there just to be sure um, okay let's go ahead and save this I'm gonna put it on my desktop uh, I'll call it calc okay and it has to be with a dot pi extension okay so calc dot pi and then save and I can see here now it's on my desktop now for some reason whenever I try and open something and uh, try and open it with um, Python you can see here I'll go in here and when I double click the Python to DXE, it doesn't pop up in my open with program. So I actually have to open everything from here. So just imagine I didn't have that open. I'll open using the uh, idle. And I'll scroll down, find my file, click it, open. Okay, now it's open. And to run things in idle, you just click run, run module. Okay, so please enter a number, 5, 5. The answer is 10. Press enter to finish. And there we go. Now we can start entering stuff in. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to run this file from the command line, go ahead and open up uh, command prompt, <clears throat> cd to the desktop in my case, and all you need to do is type python and then calc.py, okay? Enter number 1, 5, 5, the answer is 10, enter, okay, there we go. Uh, so that's how to um, <coughs> save and execute your programs both using the idle and using the command prompt. Um, another thing we're going to learn about is comments, okay? If I just open, I'll have to do it this way, annoyingly. If we open this up, um, comments are, just so you know, before I get on to actually showing you how they work, entirely for the human reader, okay? They're entirely for your purpose. When you open up a file, if you've got like a thousand lines of code, and trust me, when you get onto big projects, or even medium-sized projects, a thousand code, a thousand lines, sorry, of code isn't actually that hard to reach. You'll find 
you'll be typing so much you won't even realize, but when you check the lines just because you're interested, you'll have over a thousand probably. So really, um, it's not hard to get. And once you get around, you know, over a thousand lines, even over a hundred, for uh, you know, in certain cases, can be pretty confusing. Uh, and comments are your savior, really. Um, comments allow you to put in like little side notes about uh, anything, you know, really. Um, I guess a uh, way of explaining them would be like if you've ever used Excel, you know, you can put like notes in about a certain cell and a s um, about a certain cell. Yeah, uh, that's basically um, what comments would be really. Anyway, enough with that. Uh, to add a comment, all you need to do is put a pound sign, okay, like that, and then anything you type type after that will be interpreted as a comment and won't be uh, executed or anything. It will just be completely ignored. It's only there for you. So let's just comment this thing. Uh, I'm going to say uh, put the first number inside the num1 variable. I'll just copy that and just change that to num2. Okay. Calculate the answer and put in to answer variable. Okay. Uh, mm, oops. Print out the answer. Hold the program. Okay, so there I've simply commented the uh, the whole thing. And if I just run it, I'll just show you. It acts exactly the same. The comments don't really do anything to the program. It's just for us humans. Okay. Uh, now stuff like the stuff I've got in here, like assigning to variables, assigning, you know, printing out an answer, holding the program, you would never comment this in an actual program, okay? Um, where comments come in handy in actual, I'm just use, I'm commenting everything in this case as an example. Comments come in handy where, like, you've got a block of code that does something, but rather than you having to read the whole thing through to figure out what it does, you could just have a comment at the top saying, this block of code uh, gets an answer and calculates the tax on the uh, price of this many items. Okay, so that block of code could be commented as that, um, but you wouldn't comment everything individually. Uh, you only comment stuff that's hard to uh, hard to figure out. Uh, you know, after five seconds of looking at it, um, and stuff that. Uh, you think stands out and needs a comment. So, be subjective. You really need to um, figure this stuff out for yourself. Uh, you, but don't comment everything by far, because commenting everything, like you can see here, uh, it's not too bad, but it will clog up your program a lot. I'm going to keep the comments in there for now, but just bear that in mind. And the final thing we're going to look at uh, are raw strings. Okay. So from so far, we have um, been using regular strings like so. Okay, so I type in hello world, that's a string. Um, if I type in c backward slash 